Now, one thing some of you may have noticed is that my date of purchase, it was a date initially in terms of the format, but then it got reverted back to just plain old text. If I wanted to at this point, I could retransform that data. I have a couple of choices here. So I'm back in my data set. I go back to home and you'll notice here is transform data. Click on transform data and transform data again. And guess what? It takes me right back to where I was. And then very easily, I can go back to my invoice data. And then I will find this. And you can see here is my data purchase. And then very easily, I can change this to date if I wanted to. Now, I'm going to show you another way you can do it in case you don't really feel like going back to Power Query. So I'm just going to go ahead and just say close and apply. Didn't really do anything. So nothing really to apply. Now, let's go back to our data set. And you're going to see I can go directly to my data purchase. And then you can see that within my column tools, it is going to tell me the data type and also the format right here. Well, right from here within Power BI, I can change the data type. I don't have to go back to Power Query to be able to accomplish that. So I click on my little drop down and then look at that. Some familiar characters right there is date. And then you're going to see here data type change. With this data type change, your data will be stored differently. This may cause a loss of data or precision. After you make this change, you can restore the column by refreshing the data. I'm going to say yes, I want to do that. And you can see here, beautiful, that comes in. And then for the format, all I want to do is change it to a different type of date format. But just notice how smart it is. It recognizes this is the date, and now it's going to go even deeper to say, hey, listen, what kind of date format do you want? I'm going to choose that one. And then, bam, it transforms it to the way I wanted to initially. So really nice to know that we don't have to go back into a place that's potentially unfamiliar or something you're not really comfortable with. You can just stay right in here. It also might save you a little bit of time. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.